Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well. I want to bring you kind of a video today talking about how EA is controlling the market and making some parts of the market pretty inflated right now because of certain things that they're doing inside of the SBC tab on FIFA Ultimate Team. And it's kind of a good way that they are able to um, prevent people on the game from kind of making coins, but also sucking coins from the game at the same time because they're inflating the prices of 83s and 84s specifically. 85s and 86s is kind of a little bit are up as well, but it's mostly the 83, some 82s as well, but kind of the middle range of the SBC fodder uh, that a lot of people like to invest in on this game. It's the most common cards that are required for SBCs, these 83s through 85s. Uh, and we've gotten a lot of SBCs recently that have required these cards. And it's been really smart by EA as we're headed into the Black Friday promo. So first of all, I want to go over here and flip in and we'll look at that graph in a second. But I want to take a look at all these squad battle, squad building challenge groups that are out right now. Flashback Paulinho, Serge Nabry, uh, Juan Mata, Konate, Papu Gomez rode to their first final. Um, and even like Toko Akambi, Thiago Silva, and Jamie Vardy, all of these SBCs right now. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine SBCs right now in the store that require uh, squad ratings of like 83 or above. So that means there's some demand there for people to, to buy 83s, 84s, and 85s to put into those SBCs, which is making these indexes, this is the index 83 on footbin, these cards are going all over the place and they're staying pretty expensive. You see a lot of these right now, they say that they're down, but a lot of these 83s are like 2.8 to 3,000 coins. And these cards have been inflated for honestly the past week because we had the team of the week upgrade SBC that came out a few days ago as well. And that's a huge SBC that sucks a lot of coins off the market and especially um, makes the 83s rise. So right now these 83s are like 2.2, 2.3 thousand coins, 2.8K uh, for most of them that, to link with good chemistry. So why is this smart from EA? And that's what I want to kind of talk about is why does EA want these cards to be inflated specifically at this time of the year? Well, a couple things. We are a week away almost from the Black Friday promotion, which is when tons of people open packs in this game because there are pack specials that they put out in the store. There's like um, the first lightning rounds of the year. They have, um, I don't think they have like FIFA point specials or anything like that. There's no two for one packs during this point in time but last year they put cards back into packs best of team of the week cards i think it's going to happen again this year they're going to put cards from previous promos or previous team of the weeks back into packs to make it more enticing for people to open packs and they're going to do lightning rounds which is the big draw because people like the big packs and they pay the big bucks for them so that's kind of what black friday is people have you know they got money or whatever that's a big shopping day um and it's a big promo on fifa and ea plays off of that um, but Black Friday is also a time where, since everybody opens packs, there's a lot of packs that are opened, um, EA puts out a lot of SBCs as well. So po a popular investment method for Black Friday in the past has always been going out and buying tons and tons, going unassigned deep with thousands of 83 rated cards. People did this multiple years before, multiple different promotions, because whenever they drop a Team of the Week upgrade SBC or tons of player SBCs, like we're going to get during Black Friday, um, those cards go up because they're required for so many SBCs that they go up. Even though there's a lot of packs being opened, those cards go up because, you know, people want to do those Team of the Week repeatable upgrade SBCs because you can pack the likes of, of Neymar, of Messi, and pre Neymar in previous FIFAs. He doesn't have an inform yet, but this year Mbappe, Ronaldo, Messi, that's why the Team of the Week SBC first drove those prices up. But it's perfect timing by EA because... As we're heading into that promo right now, we're a week away, right? This is kind of when people would start to look at, hey, maybe I can invest in some 83s or 84s for Black Friday. But right now, as we again look on Footbin, all of these cards are up in price because of all these SBCs that we have had right now. And it's a very smart move by EA, inflating all of these prices for these cards um, as we do head towards that promo. So let's look at Thalvin. Thalvin would be a card that a lot of people would probably invest in for... Uh, Black Friday and you you can see for the longest time this year multiple weeks on end 83 rated cards were down here to like 1.5 to 2,000 coins and this is a card that gets really good links actually is decent in game 
and it's gonna be very usable for SBCs. Let's look at like a super duper fodder card like Casillas. Casillas is probably one of the cheapest 83s in the game because he's a goalkeeper. But look at this guy. Down here at like 800 coins, almost discard. And look what happens in these past couple of weeks. Shoots up to about 2K, comes back down, and then boom. For the past couple of days, actually the past week or so, he's been right around 3,000 coins. He's actually down a, a bit now, 2.3K. But a lot of these cards are inflated from, once they once, from where they once were because of all the demand for these SBCs. And it's very smart again because that is, that's the way EA that makes money on this game, boys. I'm telling you, we see it time and time again. They put out these player SBCs. Um, and the, these player SBCs are priced very strategically as well. Serge Nabry basically has the exact same requirements as Flashback Paulinho that came out, came out back to back days. These cards both, both cost you right around 175 to 200,000 coins, which is right in that range of, well, if this card was on the market, you know, it would be probably, you know, maybe 100,000 coins, but it's an SBC card. It's got the cool card design. Oh, and it gets some packs back. That's what makes people do these SBCs as well. An SBC under 200K, especially if it's 83s, 84s, 85s, you know, you have some of them in the club, right? Oh, maybe I have a team of weak player in my club. Oh, I have a couple 84s. I can do this SBC for cheap, which they still are sucking coins off of the game, taking coins out of your account, trading it in for an untradeable player. And they're making you think that you're going to get stuff from the packs back. But these packs back, at least for this uh, flashback Paulinho, a rare Electrum players pack isn't terrible. But a jumbo premium gold pack, no thanks. Prime Electrum, eh, whatever. It's not the best. Um, but also, again, EA has made a very, very smart decision as well by upgrading the price on the market of the Shadow Chem Styles and of the Hunter Chem Styles because now people think, you know, hey, it's pretty easy to get one of these in a pack, right? It's not that easy to get one of them in a pack. But now people are thinking, yo, Shadows are out here like twelve or 13,000 coins. I might get one of them in a pack and then that makes the SBC more worth it for me. If I pack one of these in one of those three packs, I just made a lot of my money back. So that's a very smart move by EA. Instead of just supplying those shadows more and hunters more in packs, they up the price range so that people can lose more coins and be enticed to doing these SBCs even more and think that those cards are always in packs and packable, which they technically are. But how many how often do you pack one of those cards? Not very often. So again, I know it seems like this Juan Mata SBC, yeah, you know, it's like 150k or so, right? Not too terrible of an SBC. You compare him to Ericsson, you compare him to maybe another midfielder in the Prem that you might want to compare him or replace him with. You're like, it's not a terrible card, right? It's pretty good. He's got good stats. You'll use him for a month at most, and then he's going to be done. There's going to be somebody else in the game that's better, that's going to be more usable, linkable, and your, your squad might change, stuff like that. And then he's going to be forgotten about. But you wasted 200,000 coins or 150K doing that card. Same thing with these Road to the First Finals. I mean, they really overpriced this SBC, in my opinion. Um, it's like 260,000 coins at the moment um, for a Drissa Gay card or Angelino, which obviously those are solid cards, but I mean... They really priced these Road to the Final SBCs like each of these players were going to the final. And that's how much they'd be worth at their final rating. Because if you think about it, when Gomez, I mean, Atlanta isn't even going to make it to the Europa League. But let's say um, Leipzig goes to the final with this Konate card, which is a perfectly priced SBC. This caused some panic on the market. A lot of people did this. Uh, let's say that they price this, which they did at about 100K. Let's say that he reaches the final. So he'll go to an 82 to an 84. Then he'll go to an 86, right? Or 80, 84s go to 86s. He'll go 86, 87, 88. It'll be like an 88 or an 89 rated card by the time that it's all said and done if they go far in the Champions League. By the time he would get to his highest rating, if Leipzig were to go that far in Champions League, it's going to be May. It's going to be like the end of the season where we're in the middle of team of the season. We're going to be in team of the season by the time this card gets to his potential rating. And there's going to be cards that come out for the rest of the year that are going to be better than this card because there's already cards that are better than this Konate. But just the fact that they made it a cheap SBC, 100K, for a good-looking card, good-looking face stat card, um, it's just going to be an irrelevant card, though, in a few in a few weeks because we're going to get more informs. We keep, we're keep we getting more and more promos every year. That just means possibility for more and more cards to come out that could replace this one. But again, this is how EA gets you and how they get you to turn in your coins for these SBCs. And that's how they control 
this market and take coins off at the same time as when you think you're getting a cool card for your team or whatever. So prime mixed players pack for this one and a premium gold players pack for that one. Now, I don't want to be so all negative about these SBCs because they are cool, you know, and it's content. Thank you, EA, for putting out content, even though sometimes we think it's overpriced. Some people are doing all these because they are doing like a pay to win or they're not worried about spending coins in the game. And that's fine. If coins aren't an issue for you, then go ahead and collect all these cards by all means. There's not a problem with that. There really isn't if that's how you choose to play the game. But a lot of people of us on here on the game, we like to be smart. We're traders. We like to keep our coins. Coins, we know that coins are power. We know that coins are important. And we know that coins mean we have the ability to do things on this game and to make more coins. So if we keep locking up our coins, throw 100k into Paulinho that we're going to use and, and for a week's time, throw 100k into Flashback Juan Mata, throw 100k into Konate, little by little, it's going to chip our coins away. If we can't trade faster th with those coins and make more coins on top of that, um, then what we're losing from these SBCs, then we're going to start getting in the hole. And that's where EA gets a lot of people because if you just do all these SBCs and think that you're going to make your coins back from just playing the game and maybe trading a little bit, it's not going to happen because unless you're a top 100 player every week and getting on the ultimate team of the week pack, you're not going to make more than like 200,000 coins back from your rewards most weeks if you choose untradable div rivals, which a lot of people do for the more packs, and then your foot champs rewards. It's not, it's not that easy to make a lot of coins from champs every week on a consistent basis. Even if you're even if you're like a top 100 or elite level player, the rewards aren't consistent and you can't trust on them because one week in your team of the week pack, you might get an 89 rated that goes for 300K, but the next week you might get an 84 rated who's 12K or 15K. So you can't really rely on rewards for this game. And that, again, that's the whole point of this video. I just wanted to talk about how, you, just talk with you guys about SBCs and especially as we head into Black Friday, EA does not want to make these 83 rated cards investable or um, a way to make coins. They do not want to make them cheap. Um, and even one thing they could do first day of Black Friday is not even put out a player SBC on that first day of Black Friday so that these 83s drop because some people will invest in these cards anyway, regardless as we head into Black Friday because they know they always rise. They're always going to have SBCs, which we very well could. But EA, they have all the power and all the ability to not put out a player SBC first day, let all the packs come out, let all the gold cards die even more and get low, and then they could put SBCs out after that. But then they would help people make coins, whatever. So we'll just see what happens with that and we'll follow it. But I just wanted to let you guys know what was going on with this and why all these SBCs are coming out. EA always has a plan with this stuff, guys. I'm telling you, you have to be, you have to think critically and you have to think smart and really get behind why is EA doing what they're doing. And we don't understand why they're doing it all at all times, but it's when you think about their business and you think about what they're trying to do in this game, take coins away from people so that they have to spend money in open packs. And that's how they make money. That's how EA makes money off this game it starts to make a lot of sense and you start to notice a lot of things, even like price range updates, like I said with those uh, chemistry style cards today, and even price range updates on extinct cards. Those can be very strategically placed and moved so that people lose coins on cards. Seriously, it's almost, it's just crazy, almost sickening how much, how lengthy EA will go to try to make coins in this game and make people lose coins so that they can make money on this game. So that's kind of the video that I wanted to point out to you guys today. Do I expect the 83s or the 84s to drop down a little bit before Black Friday? I hope so. Uh, depends on what happens this weekend, the week before Black Friday, if we have a promo or something, uh, or some type of cards and packs and people open packs or whatever. But these SBCs that are in here, um, I don't think you have to worry too much about the Tiago Silva, the Toko Akambi, or the Serge Nabry. Of course, that's going to be a little bit of demand that's always there. Kind of like how there was Icon SBCs last year. So there was always a little bit of demand for 85s, 86s, 87s, and 88s. You're always going to have a little bit of demand for the 83s and 84s and 85s because of these Player of the Month SBCs that are out for like a month at a time. And I think a lot of these guys require 83s and 84s. So uh, that's going to be some demand that will still be there. But the Road to the Final SBCs are going away in two days. And the, the Juan Mata, I think, goes away really soon, 17 hours, and Flashback Paulinho goes away in two days as well. So we might even get more SBCs as this week progresses. Um, so just be on the watch for more of that kinds of stuff. And honestly, I want to look back on this 
index 83 market because one thing that you saw on here was a big swing in price. Now, a lot of people do SBCs. Uh, just because I'm telling you guys this, this isn't going to impact the whole FIFA community and they're not, they're going to stop doing SBCs. No, people are always going to do SBCs. They will always do SBCs. So this drop is after the Nabry Player of the Month uh, SBC up here at 140 points. It was actually at 160. And it was basically up to about this point right here, 160 points. It was higher yesterday than it was today. Dropped all the way down to 128. And then the, the EU started waking up in the morning. This is something that you could honestly start to trade with. The day after an SBC, if you monitor the price of 83s and 84s, especially the ones with good links and good nationalities, if you see them drop a lot overnight, maybe you see them drop like a thousand coins, that could be your cue, especially, I mean, it would have to be uh, a desirable, a linkable, and a good meta player SBC. That would be one of the criteria to have to be. So like this Paulinho card right now, we, some, we have some of the 83s dropping off right now. Maybe tomorrow morning around the rewards time, a little after rewards, you might see the 83s um, go back up a little bit. So I know this re this recording is going to be um, delayed a little bit. The Paulinho SBC might not even be out when you're watching this recording. But the 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 thought basis behind this and everything like that stays true. Uh, that EA is trying to inflate these 83s, but that makes them fluctuate a lot because it's a lot of supply and demand with these SBCs uh, that are on the market. So hopefully you guys learned something from this video. Uh, if anything, just be careful with your coins and thoroughly evaluate each SBC as it come out. I try to do that myself when I'm on videos, when I do market updates, talk about SBCs on, on stream, on twitch.tv, that link's down below. I do stream very regularly on there or in videos on here or even in like tweets or in my Discord as well. I try to give you guys um, a good synopsis and a good analysis of the SBCs when they come out because I think it's important for a lot of you guys that don't have a ton of coins or you want to be really smart with your coins for the whole year so that you can achieve your goal of getting a Messi or getting a Ronaldo or whatever. Um, doing these SBCs along the way can really, really hurt that. So that's why I made this video today, just to make you guys aware of some of those things that EA does on the market um, with SBCs and the SBC fodder. Cards. If you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.